we need to talk about computer science. The lie that is basically all over the internet. There are so many misconceptions when it comes to learning computer science. And I wanted to talk about them in this video because you can spend a lot of time watching other YouTube videos, reading articles about computer science. And I think there's a big, big misconception as to what computer science actually is and what you can expect. So first, let me just say this. I do think computer science is probably the best or one of the best majors out there if you are a person who genuinely likes computers. If you are a person who likes computers and likes, likes coding and likes mathematics, you like problem solving, you like thinking about hard things, computer science could be a good choice for you. So the first misconception I wanna talk about, and this is, this is a big one, this is probably one of the biggest ones, is that computer science is just coding. Now, that's just not true. It, it's simply not true. Yes, I personally do think that you should like to code if you are going to study computer science because it helps keep your, keep your options open when you're done. And you do need to do a lot of coding to actually make it through the major. You have to learn several languages. You have to do a lot of coding. But computer science is not coding. You do, you do a lot more than that. You study computers from the ground up, both, both the hardware and the software. You, know, you take courses on computer architecture. You take courses on operating systems. You take some discrete mathematics. Computer science majors actually take usually two classes uh, regarding, regarding that. So computer science it is not just coding. Okay, I had a friend who was really into computers and instead of studying computer science, he did like some two year degree where he learned to code and now he has his own software company. And this was a long time ago. I'm not saying you could do that, but computer science is not just coding. It is a lot more than that. You know, all, all the old computer scientists, a lot of them had a background in mathematics. You know, think about the guys who created the C programming language, Kernighan and Ritchie, those guys, I mean, these, these people know mathematics. So computer science, again, it's not just coding. Now there is a lot of coding in it. And if you like coding and you like mathematics and you like problem solving, then I do think computer science is, is a good choice for you. The second thing you should know is that you don't need to be a genius to learn computer science. There's this idea that all computer scientists are geniuses and I think it started in the 80s. There was this movie called Revenge of the Nerds. And I'm pretty sure in that movie, all the nerds were computer science majors. This is an old movie from the 80s. And so it's been going on for a while that computer science people are just nerds and you have to be a genius to learn computer science. That is simply not true. You know, when you think of a computer scientist, you think of someone like Richard Stallman with a beard or Bill Gates, you know, you think of people who, who, who have this stereotype but that is not the case right that is simply not the case you don't have to be a genius okay I, I taught myself how to code in C even before going to college I had no almost no education and I was able to learn to code in C by myself using one book two books and the internet and then I switched to math after studying both for a while so, so you don't have to be a genius to learn computer science anyone can do it um, anyone can do it. The third thing you should know is that computer science is not about memorizing a bunch of languages. You know, once you know one or two languages and you know them well, it's pretty easy to pick up other languages when you need them. All right, so I think a computer science person should, should have one or two, maybe three, that they're really comfortable in, they're really comfortable using to solve problems. And that's it. You know, once, once you get a job in computer science with your degree, you're probably only going to use one or two languages, depending on what you do. And as long as you can solve problems and use them well, and speak to the computer using those programming languages and make it do things, that, that's usually enough for most jobs, right, for most jobs. And again, many jobs in computer science don't even require 
heavy coding. There's other things you can do with a computer science degree besides coding. You know, and the most, the most valuable thing about computer science, the most valuable skill is the problem solving aspect. It's, it's the ability to have a problem put in front of you and solve it step by step and then use a programming language to do that. So it's all about problem solving and you see that, you see that in your courses. Another big one that we should talk about, and this is one that I, I knew a lot of people who had a problem with this, is that they think that you have to be a math expert to study computer science. And yes, to study computer science in most colleges, you need like calculus one, calculus two, and maybe two more math classes. So yes, you do have to take some harder math classes, but honestly, that's nothing compared to what a math major does. It's, 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 it's a joke compared to what math majors do. You're not going to take hard proof-based classes. Yes, you will have to write some baby proofs in your discrete math class, but you'll get through it. You'll get through All you have to do is get through it. I had a friend who studied computer science and he got C's in most of his classes. And I used to give him a really hard time. I used to say, I used to say Jeff, his name was Jeff. Jeff, you, you need to focus on your grades. Focus on your grades because that's more important, Jeff. He was like, no, no. And he had a job making about $10 an hour uh, at some business park doing some coding. And you know what happened to Jeff? He got his computer science degree, barely, barely. I, I, think, I, I think his GPA was under a three. Got a job somewhere because he had so much experience. And he ended up moving out of state and he got a great job making over 100K. And that was years ago. Jeff probably makes over 200K now, right? I mean, he's probably got a great life. I don't know where he is today. Hello, if you're watching this, he probably isn't, but... He was one of my internet friends, you know, and uh, I got to meet him in real life. And he's a guy who barely made it through his computer science program. I mean, I don't want to say barely. I mean, he was he was smart, but he, he was so busy because he was working all the time because he had to pay for his own education. He didn't have money, so he had to work and go to school. And his job was coding, right? And so that helped him get a job when he was done because he had all that experience. So I was wrong. I told him to focus on grades and... Jeff made it, you know, Jeff made it. He was able to do it. So, yeah, you know, so I think computer science is one of those things that is worth doing if you want to have a good life and a good job, you know, because there are many jobs that you can get with computer science. And many people think it's oversaturated. They think, oh, you know, everyone's going into computer science. It's a bunch of computer science bros. And there's always a fad. There's always a trend. Don't chase the trend. Study computer science because it's something you want to do. It's something you want to learn. Study it because you like computers. If you truly like working with computers and you truly like coding and thinking about how computers work, if you truly respect the machine, you know, if you can see the beauty of it and you really love it, then do it. And at the end of the day, you'll probably end up working somewhere doing who knows what. But computer science is a very broad field too. That's another thing I should mention. So. Once you get your degree, you're going to have the complete package. You're going to learn a lot of things. I have a, a friend who got a really good job, really good job, and he makes really good money now. And he told me that one of the most valuable skills that he uses at his job is from one of his most hated classes. He had a teacher he hated, and he had to learn about databases. And that skill was wildly useful at his current job. And so because of that class that he hated, which he didn't want to take because he, he didn't care about it, he didn't think he'd be using it, but he was forced to take that class and that's the class that helped him, helped him tremendously in his new job. And now he does something else at the job and you know, he's like a supervisor. And so get it. If you're thinking about studying computer science and you like computers, do it. It's your life. And I think it's a great opportunity for everyone in the world. I think it's such a young age still. We are still at the birth of the internet. You know, we're still there. We're still there. If you want to learn mathematics, check out my math courses. Links in the description. Check out my math books. Links in the description. And as always, stay strong, my friends.